When it comes to any media that you consume, you always root for the villain. Whether it's because it's harder to be a villain, or just the fact that too many people like the good guy more. When you watch the Batman movies, you were rooting for the Joker. When the Paul brothers went against KSI and Deji, you were rooting for the Paul brothers because you think that being a villain is what creates entertainment. You might also be a Conor McGregor fan as well, just because of how cocky and arrogant he is. <laughs> Oh, you guys can't catch a break. break the wall. Yeah. You guys are very loyal. You were a Chris Jericho fan at his all-time ah, low and at his all-time high. Even through thick and thin, you'll still be a Chris Jericho fan. There is absolutely nothing that could convince you otherwise. And if anybody has a problem with that, you tell them. You just made the list. You guys are just filled with positive energy and are super fun to be around. You know the right thing to say in every single situation and always can turn hey, a frown yo, upside down. You just love the idea of going around and making people's day just by smiling at them or giving them a compliment. Just literally anything that's positive. Also, Whoa, side note, why is this man a 78 heck? overall in 2K24? He was literally WWE champion like a little over two years ago. Like, why they do my man like that? You love to drive around in your Ford F-150 while listening to some country music. And typically, whenever you're at a cookout, you're the one that's on the grill. And you're one of those rare people that actually got excited when King of the Hill came on at the end of the night for Cartoon Network. You guys are extremely indecisive about everything. The problem is that in your life, you have way too many choices for everything. So whenever you do make a decision, it always feels like you made the wrong one. You can't decide where you wanna go out to eat. You can't decide what show you wanna watch. You can't decide what video game you wanna play. And for crying out loud, stop spending so much money on clothes. <laughs> You guys have a special place in your heart for TNA, and you guys like to dabble into other indie promotions as well. And you think that the Bullet Club is the best and most innovative professional wrestling stable that was ever created. However, some of you guys are under the delusion that when AJ Styles went to WWE, he got neutered. Which I mean, come on man, he was literally a two-time WWE champion, and he's still relevant to this day. <laughs> You guys love the idea of being a lone wolf and being different from everybody else. You're very good at socializing and have a solid friend group, but you're really an introvert to heart. Also, the thought of going rogue just sounds cool to you, and your favorite color is probably blue. If you were watching wrestling back in the 80s, this man spoke to you like no other did. Just his energy and his stamina motivated you on so many different ways. While everybody was fanboying over Hulk Hogan, you decided to be edgy and different and go with the ultimate Yeah, world. buddy! Cause I mean, who else are you gonna like anyway? Macho man? Psh, get that out of here. Oh, that's right, there's also Bret Hart. Well, uh, you probably like the color pink and, uh, I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. You're a nerd. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can really say about y'all. Y'all try your best to be different and quirky, but oh, it really oh. just doesn't work out. Now, your favorite wrestler is John Cena, CM Punk, The Rock. My favorite wrestler is Axiom. You guys always look upset. Like if RBF was a person, it would be you. You're the most non-approachable, most intimidating, just overall terrifying person to go up and talk to. But deep down inside a lot of y'all is just a silly and funny nice guy. Well, I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of y'all are super funny and half the time you're not even trying to be funny. And you take a lot of inspiration from black humor. Like you love you some Dave oh, Chappelle up, or Eddie Murphy. And you're probably not someone to mess with when it comes to roasting each other. When Judgment Day was first formed, you thought that Finn Balor was going to be the main breadwinner and he was going to be the one to win the world championship. But ever since Damian Priest won that money in the bank, suddenly everything shifted and now you're like a huge fan. So with that being said, you're a professional bandwagon. Back in 2016, the Golden State Warriors were your favorite basketball team and the New England Patriots were your favorite football team. But there is a very small percentage of y'all that just messed with him even during his NXT days. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it real here. You know the man as Daniel Bryan, not Bryan Danielson. With that being said, Daniel Bryan is similar to the Ultimate Warrior in the sense that while everybody was fanboying over John Cena, you sided with Daniel Bryan. And he's also like Cody Rhodes in the sense that it's pretty much impossible to dislike this guy. I mean, it's so easy for anybody, even someone that's not a wrestling fan, to join the Yes Movement. Should you like the video and subscribe? Yes! 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 <laughs>
A lot of y'all like to think that it's a hot take to think that Dean Ambrose is better than John Moxley. Bro, that is not a hot take, that is straight facts. Being a rule breaker and just disregarding any authority just comes natural to you. That or you just find it very entertaining to witness. There's a natural curiosity inside everybody whenever they're told not to do something. But for you, you don't even think twice, you just do it anyway. This is the only wrestler on this list where I would completely understand if you know him as Matt Cardona rather than Zack Ryder. Because my goodness was this man neutered in WWE. I don't know what Vince had against this man, but this guy is a prime reason why people don't choose to watch WWE. So unfortunately for that reason, a lot of y'all Matt Cardona fans are marks. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I kind of just threw Solo in here just to keep the video going. So he's basically filler. I mean, I don't know why anybody would make Solo their favorite wrestler. Like literally, all he does is just interfere in Roman's matches and just derides him. So to put it bluntly, you guys are just professional glazers, I guess. <laughs> You guys are very loyal fans of NXT and love the original black and gold brand. You're probably also the guy in the friend group that loves to keep everybody together and is always the mediator with every argument. You're just a very wholesome person in general and you never really run into any drama in your life. You went through a huge skateboarding phase. Skate 3 was your favorite video game and Rocket Power was your favorite show. Highly underrated cartoon, by the way. But you're someone that believes in second chances. And unfortunately, you feel that WWE didn't really give Jeff Hardy much of a second chance. But that old theme song will be in your heart forever. Guys, I have a part one to this video where I talk about wrestlers like John Cena, Roman Reigns, and CM Punk. So if you haven't seen the video already, click the video on screen.